In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. There are three Masses which are appointed for this day. The first is of today's saints. You have their picture there from Rome. St. Eustace and his companions, that is to say his wife and his two sons, a holy family that lived, faced together, suffered very much. They are invoked in the, for uh, the needs of serious family problems. And then they all died together as martyrs because they were enclosed in a brazen bowl and not consumed by the fire. They are invoked against temporal fire as well as the eternal fire of hell. They are some of the holy helpers whom we often speak about in this and invoke. Uh, St. Eustace is also the patron saint of hunters, and he is a patron of veterinarians as well. While the Chicago just read the Mass of the Vigil in preparation for the feast day tomorrow of St. Matthew, in the Vigil Gospel, St. Uh, Luke sums up uh, the story of the conversion of St. Matthew from being a tax collector and a publican to an apostle. And our Lord justifies himself with the Jews by saying, I am come not to call the just, but sinners to penance. Our Lord is calling us to penance this ember Saturday. And once called, we must remember this truth, we must follow our Lord immediately as did Matthew, and we must bring forth fruit of justice. In one of the lessons of the Ember Day Mass, which we read in a moment, our Lord tells us from the mouth of the prophet, every soul that is not afflicted on this day, in other words, the day of penance, shall perish from among his people. Penance, remember, means the true conversion of heart. Just as our Lord looked at Matthew and pointed at him, and immediately he left everything and followed him, so must we do. Uh, we ask our Lord in today's Mass and one of the graduals that he should forgive us our sins. Forgive us our sins, O Lord. But today, most of all, in the Ember Day Mass, the beautiful epistle in the Gospel that are proper to this day, we're meant to think about the wonderful patience of God. That even though we have left everything and followed him, we do that all the time. And sometimes we are very quick to relax again into our sins. And our Lord is a bit like the wine dresser in today's gospel parable. He comes to check out the fig tree. He finds a fig tree that's not producing any fruit. That's us. What fruit have we really produced? And our Lord wants to pull it up and to root it out, and yet the uh, workers say, well, give it some time, Lord. And so he does. He gives it some time. He digs it with manure and takes care of it. He fixes it all up so that in the end it will bring a little fruit. That's the image of our soul, the patience of our Lord, for which we must be so very grateful today in the Holy Mass, even though up till now we have not produced any fruit. In the epistle of today's Mass, we have the St. Paul writing about the Old Testament high priest. I was struck by the phrase, he went into the Holy of Holies, you know, the Jewish Holy Day, once a year to sprinkle blood over the, uh, of the Ark of the Covenant, of the Old Testament tabernacle. And he did this, St. Paul says, for the ignorance of himself and the ignorance of the people. Think how many sins today, how much lack of really bringing forth fruit is really because of ignorance. When were people ever more ignorant of Christian truth and Christian morality than today? How necessary it is then to sprinkle the precious blood of our Lord, offer it up to God, to the hands of Mary, again and again throughout the day, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass, and to thank God for his very great patience with us. The last image to think about is the woman who's bent over, as old people sometimes are, towards the earth for 18 years. But that's not due to her age, it is the spirit of infirmity. In other words, a devil that has done that to her. She stands for my soul, my soul which is bent over to the earth and can't stand straight up and look up to God and to heavenly things. And our Lord stretches out his hand to deliver me. The sacrament of penance, the hand of the priest is extended to absolve me from my sins. The sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, the priest's hand is extended to bring the blessed sacrament and to place it upon my tongue. By these sacraments I receive so often, our Lord delivers me, enables me to stand upright and to look up to God in the things of God. Now I must thank Our Lady for the grace on this per day of Saturday 
to bring forth some fruit which is worthy of penance. But it starts by this, a wonderful gratitude for God's patience, and on the other hand, a true balanced humility of heart. Why have I produced so little fruit so far? But thank you, dear Jesus, for your immense patience with me, a poor sinner. Heal me today. Let me stand up straight. Let me look to God and to the things of God. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.